Okay, so um, to create a a Python bot host app, whatever it's called, <laughs> whatever you clicked on this video for, that's what we'll be doing. And uh, you just need to create a an account. You need a GitHub account and just an account for Heroku in general. Um, Foodbot host, it's Python in Python, and um, there's Foodbot right here. So it does work if you want your bot to be online. Now, once you've created your account, you go to this dashboard.heroku.com slash apps just click on this and you should be able to get there create a new app and I'm just gonna name it um, <laughs> no I'm gonna create it um, new t bot new t bot new test bot and um, that's pretty much what it's called. United States, you, I guess you put it for whatever you're closer to. So if you're close to Europe, put it as Europe. Close to United States or in United States, put it in that. And you just create the app. Once you're done with that, you connect to GitHub. But before you actually connect, Go to GitHub. Um, now to actually so we're gonna create a new repository, right? I'm just gonna name it new tbot and you set it to private. I mean, if you want to display this public, that's all you, but I set my repositories to private most, most of the time. And um, just create a repository. Now, once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to really just look at what I'm doing right now. Because you don't want to miss this part. Um, um, Git download now you need to go to this site and download this um for whatever you're on and yeah just download it if it asks you to add to path or anything like that make sure to check on it but I already have this um I already have this set up but it should do everything for you. Just download it. It's like a it's like a terminal. So yeah, once you're done with that, what you want to do is use what you just downloaded, what I just told you to download, and ooh, that's okay. And you have your file right here, right? New T bot, the same file I'm using in Visual Studio Code. You want to left click that. Well, you want to right click it actually. Git bash here. You see what I did? Right click and it should be there. It should be there. Now, what I usually do to create repositories is um, I copy this. Um, no, I'm supposed to do git init. So you do git init first, and then I do paste, and then you have this, and then git commit m first commit, and then git push, and then git push sets up. Stream Origin Master. Oh, did I make a mistake? 
Hold up. Okay, I just typed that in first before I wasted your time. But once you have this, and you pretty much copied everything I did, um, you just press enter, and then you get an error. I'll be right back when I fix it. Alright, so I forgot to do something. You have to do this git add and the dot for all files pretty much. So press enter git commit m first commit and then you know you have all that git push oh um, yeah and then git push set upstream um master no no or origin master and then yeah that should work for you that's what I do so after I I pushed it I'm just gonna go over what I did so what I did was I added the origin where all of my files are going to go when I push it to this this um this repository and um what I do let's just skip all that because that was not right what I did after that is so once you're done get in it you add the repository you will you connect the files to the repository or the folder I should say you do git add to add all the files inside of the folder to the repository and then you pretty much like you commit the files um, you pretty much push you, what am I saying <laughs> so, you, so you commit it pretty much sends a message of what you did or what files you added um, pretty useful and um, you do git push adds adds it to the actual the actual files no it, it adds it to the repository uh, I'm saying nonsense okay so once you're done with all that you have your first commit after you refresh the page of your repository now I did some stuff off camera um, uh, I just did this just in case um, my push didn't work because um, it kept saying fatal and stuff so uh, I just I just did git push you origin master and it pretty much set up everything so yeah fatal upstream yeah it can be confusing sometimes but hopefully that worked um, and yeah now that you have your repository, you search up the repository, and it should be there. You just press connect. Don't think too much. Just follow what I do. Enable automatic deploys, and uh, go to settings. Add build pack. Make sure it's Python. Now, once you go into Visual Studio Code, you want to go ahead and do this Discord. And, um, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, oh. Um, I'm gonna go to new bot, the bot I'll be using for this video. And uh, for the bot, copy it token. Go to Visual Studio Code, just paste that in. Um, let's also go into config bars token, and then also paste that in. And uh, yeah, this should be good. Requirements 
Now every time you make a change to a file, you need to uh, you need to add it to the repository. So how you do that is, let's say you add add some new code, add some new commands to your your bot.py file, right? Um, you know you do you do your stuff. Now you do git add if you could just yeah git commit and what I did was add the requirement oh you also need a proc file I almost forgot okay so proc file this is just for her oh, by the way you don't need this for other Hosting stuff. So um, worker colon. Let me just zoom in here. How much time is best? Eleven eleven minutes. So um oh. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so it, it zoomed in worker colon python bot.py. It doesn't have to be bot.py, it could be whatever you want. Well, it can't be whatever you want, it has to be exactly what this is called, and it has to. It has to have these two things, so make sure it looks exactly like this. Only like if this is called index.py, then you do index, but it's called bot.py. So I did this, and yeah, that should work. So we have this and this. Now we do git add again. We do git commit added proc file and discord requirements and once you have that you just press enter and should be good um all you have to do is git push push that baby into the repository and um um you are hearing me right it's full volume so resolving and bam there you go the repository should be updating now now if the I know the the gits the quick git tutorial I did right now is was a bit fast and it just it just wasn't professional it was pretty bad right so you can just search up okay I don't know what the hell just happened but yeah um sorry about that the the git tutorial I just um you know showed you how to do it's pretty bad so you can just search up how to do it yourself and um but if you but if it worked for you and you have all this stuff then you know kudos to you but it was pretty bad so you know if it doesn't work for you or anything just search up how to do it you should you should find it out or you could just um you just follow the tutorial github gives you but yeah make sure to download git or you could just use your terminal I guess um, but yeah it is pushed and in Heroku we have our token our build pack and everything should be good to be honest build succeeded 
Is there anything I've forgotten? For now, you just wait. Just go to logs right here. View logs, and you just wait on it. See what. See what happens. And yeah. Build succeeded. I just I'm just gonna do this. So you go to resources once you you know build a succeed and whatever and you just put this on. Now I'm just gonna review what I've done so far, worker and proc file requirements, it has to have Discord here. Um if you're doing if you downloaded something like lava link, you put lava link here. Um skip a line, lava link and yeah but we don't have level link so and bot the py this is basic stuff i'm assuming that you already have a bot and you just want to host it so it stays online so you pretty much know all this stuff you just need the requirements and proc file and you're gucci good to go but yeah bro like you should probably already know git if you're a developer I mean you should know it what kind of developer doesn't know git right but um yeah github there are other ways to do it obviously but I use github and it works fine for me um you could use Heroku and yeah I'm just gonna regenerate this. I don't want anybody stealing my YouTube bot. 